Hi there, Scorpio. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This is your August 1st through the 15th love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. Whatever does it, does it. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check your rising sign or your moon sign. And please remember that it may not resonate with you. I had a very, very, very nasty comment several of them from a Scorpio that this did not resonate and they called me a cunt and um, said I didn't have any conscience and all kinds of stuff over my last reading said it didn't resonate and they said, I mean woo wow you know so if it doesn't resonate with you then you know it wasn't meant for you um, this will resonate with who it's supposed to resonate with I was blown away by that. I almost didn't even... I thought about not even doing one for you guys. Um, oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, this is for Scorpio, August 1st through the 15th. And this is intended to be a love reading. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, then please... Uh, you know, I'm not God. And this isn't going to resonate with everybody. It's not. And I think the last one wasn't pretty. You know, it wasn't the prettiest picture in the world. And obviously this person did not want to hear it. So, uh, you know, what am I supposed to do? Do you want me to add some um, freaking rainbow sprinkles to the fucking order or what? I mean, I, I, I can't. It's just the way it is. All right, this is going to be a love reading. This is going to be a love reading. Okay, so this is about um, a crisis situation, complete despair. Complete despair at this point. And this is the first, the first through the 15th, but this is right around the 1st of August. It feels like you're coming out of a period of despair. You're coming out of a period of loss. It's like, oh my God, it's finally over. So that's actually in a very good spot. It's over. <coughs> the worst is behind you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, the worst is behind you. Okay, so whatever it was going through that made you feel um, so bad or made you feel like you were overwhelmed and it was a crisis is absolutely over. And now it's your time for a start, a new start, okay? A new phase of your life. A new chapter is upon you. A new major chapter, like, you know, a new major chapter of your life. This is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's a fire sign. It's somebody who, um, <coughs> takes action, you know? Um, takes the lead, does what they need to do to get what they want, goes after what they want, um, moves forward, doesn't just stand still. They don't go with the flow. They make it happen. So this is uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Could be in your life this week or in your life period. Um, who is, you know, part of your new journey or your new chapter, per se. Yeah, they probably are because you have this new chapter on both sides okay so this person is definitely entwined in the mix it, and they're they're um they, they're probably going to take a risk with you you might be taking a risk with somebody with faith and trust <laughs> and if it's not a uh, um, fire sign it could be any sign with a lot of fire in their chart whoever this person is they're unique they don't go with the flow you know they do what they take action you know, they they move, they get things done, they they pull things together, they they are <coughs> enthusiastic and they're social, you know. So they will they will compliment you very well in your next new chapter. But we have to worry about uh blending still and moderation. You know, it looks like, you know, if this is a new relationship that you've just gotten into, there's still blending that needs to be done. I understand that you're going to be taking a risk, <laughs> but 
don't overdo it, okay? Don't don't overdo it. Don't overcompensate for anything. Okay? Just um try to balance things out. Okay? Try to balance out your emotions per se. That's what this is. This is about trying to um keep yourself in check. All right? Now this is towards the end of the first week. Of August look at oh my goodness that's beautiful the wheel in the world they're right together after this bullshit period that you've been through your new phase has just started okay your new phase of life has started over this bullshit period all of a sudden things are coming together things are looking up they're looking great actually you have a very positive beginning ahead of you. Very, very positive. And it's the beginning of a new chapter. It's not a little beginning. It's a big beginning. Because it starts a foundation that's nearly, you know, it's it's karmic for one thing. It's destiny. It's like unbreakable. This new chapter is here. It's starting in August. Well, it's already started. I think it's already started, but it's going to be even more prominent. It's going to come to more fruition. Um, I mean, 10, 10, 21. These are all major endings where something brand new begins. And when I say brand new, I mean brand new, a brand new cycle. So if you've been with somebody, it's a new cycle where commitment increases or, I mean, this is a love reading, or you actually find somebody, okay, to start your new phase of life with, all right? Nine of Wands. <coughs> Two of Wands. Five of Cups. All right. So are you starting your new phase of life? You're starting your new chapter, your new journey. I mean, I think a lot of you have already started it and it's just ascending more and more every day and it's ascending into something very positive and beautiful. But damn it all, you are still pessimistic about something. You're still worried about something and it has something to do with this Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Maybe they're worried. Either you or them are still worried about something. There's something... Um, making you feel, or them, you or them feel like they're not so sure. They're not like, it's just not as, there's still work to be done, okay, to win somebody over, to win this person over. There's still some work to be done, <coughs> but... Here we have you wanting to take a risk or you're going to take a risk or you're actually, you know, you are going to take a risk, risk, okay? But you need to seriously make a decision. This is about a fork in the road. You know, do you go left or do you go right? Are you still moping over something? I mean, somebody is still moping. Somebody's crying over a loss when, and that's where you need to get a hold of your emotions and you need to be keep you know be in moderation that's where you need to um be in balance because it looks like you go from um well right here it looks like you're depressed <laughs> looks like you're crying over some loss you know when you should be concentrating on flying forward so what's it going to be here's your choice do you keep crying over what's been lost or do you take a risk probably with somebody else i mean here we have a sagittarius here we have a leo aries sagittarius do you take a risk or do you mope over something and cry over something? I mean, <clears throat> cut your losses and move on. That's what this says. Do what? What the hell are you crying for? Um, what the heck? It feels like you're just really. I mean, you regret something. Did something, I mean, towards the, uh, this is the first week of August, the end of the first week of August, perhaps somebody overindulged or, or um, did something that caused some regret. All right.
where are you going to put your energy? Are you going to put your energy towards this? Or are you going to put your energy towards this? I mean, do you want to start something new, fresh, with no fear? Or do you want to continue to mope? That's what this question is. This is the question. Where are you going to focus? Are you going to focus on flying? Are you going to focus on crying? Flying, crying. What's it going to be? And I don't mean physically crying. You're going to be crying in your soul. All right? Balance, my my dear. Balance. That's what this card is saying. <laughs> Figure, it's okay to do both. But in, in unison, in balance, you don't need... <laughs> or even, I mean, whatever. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You take it from there. <coughs> You're definitely moving forward, and I am so, so, so happy. Looks like you have put yourself right in the driver's seat, and you are taking charge. All right, you are. It looks like maybe perhaps there's going to be a higher level of commitment with somebody that you're going to start this new cycle with. Um, <coughs> may seem like it's a little chaotic or something or disorganized, but... All in all, it feels really, really good. Like there's a lot of positive energy down here. Like there's a lot of, um, you know, it's very beautiful. There's a lot of wishes and hopes being fulfilled between the both of you, okay? It looks like you're moving forward and you're moving forward quite nicely with somebody that, um, you love. It looks like that you love and you know there's a there's a love right here that leads to a very comfortable happy home. But you need whatever's going on inside that's causing you to hurt or causing you to mope or feel bad or have any regrets, you need to just I, don't, I mean, you can't just get rid of it, so you need to rebalance it. That's what needs to happen. You need to rebalance it so you can come back to this very happy, comfortable home life with somebody who probably offers you some love. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Cancer, could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. <coughs> right now is a beautiful, wonderful time of inspiration, healing, good health. Um, we have some contentment in a couple different places. It looks like it's a very good two weeks where you're feeling very, very good with some, um, a little bit of issues of, um, regrets I think this is some kind of regrets over something you're regretting something and I'm not sure what it is but I do believe it has something to do with love there's some kind of sadness over a loss but this is also a healing card so maybe this is just saying whatever, whatever's, there's something that's in there. There's something in your soul or your head or your mind that is causing you to feel down. But this, is, this one is saying, in this one you have healing on both ends, put it that way. It's a time to heal, okay? You have healing on both ends. It's a time to heal, all right? And bring your contentment and your comfortableness back to the, back to your home, Okay? Because there's plenty of love and you really crying over it does no good whatsoever. Here's your choice. Okay, it's time to take a choice. Do you focus on this? Where do you put your energy? This is where do you put your energy? Do you put your energy on this or do you put your energy on this? Or do you put energy on this moping or do you put your energy on moving forward? Okay. So this is negative and this is positive. Where are you going to put your energy? And balance that shit out. That's what that says. <laughs> but you're going to because this is a victory okay here we have a victory after you know a little bit of chaos not much a little a little bit of chaos that leads to maybe a higher commitment you know a very harmonious um, content 
committed relationship with somebody that you can be your absolutely positively self with. No, no faking it. This person is, um, they love who you are for who you are. You know what I mean? They don't care what you look like. They don't care what you act. They don't care what you do wrong. They love you anyway. This, that's what this person is. That's who it is. All right, it's a relationship where you don't have to worry about who you are. So there's really nothing to cry about. Nothing. <laughs> so this is for Scorpio. What else do you have for Scorpio? Don't give up, whatever you do. Don't give up because everything is looking real, real good. It looks very, you look, you're looking very successful. Um, this is a victory. This is moving forward. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you from succeeding at this point. Nothing. It's right in the middle of the reading. And here you are. There's nothing that can stop you from shining at this point. Nothing. Okay. Mm, I see higher level of commitment now it doesn't have to be a physical engagement but I see a higher level of commitment for you I see it here and now it's here okay your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment absolutely no doubt about it I truly believe it. a new absolutely this is a beautiful wonderful new phase of life after a time of like crisis bullshit okay <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the time of healing and getting healthy again. Remember to concentrate on your health. I see that you are going to be, you're going through a time of healing right now. For sure. There's no doubt about it. And it's working for you. It's definitely working for you. Ah. This is a good one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you faith and romance. Was it say faith? No. Yes. Positive, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's over this energy card. Where are you going to put your energy? Are you going to put your energy towards flying or are you going to put your energy towards crying? Flying or crying? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. What's it going to be? One no, one one one. Uh, I don't know where the hell that came. One on one is what I was trying to say, but heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Truly, truly, with this person that you're with, your your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You have it twice. There's no doubt because you're healing and you're healing beautifully. Beautifully. And it's time to start a new fight phase, a new cycle, a new major life lesson. That's what it is. And you've learned a lot, and now it's time to learn something else. And it's got a big one. Big one, okay? So whoever you're with or will be with, this is going to have to happen. And continue to happen. To con continue to help you heal because I see during these two weeks it's a it's a very um, prominent time of healing for you so you're going to be healing in a very big way that's all there is to it so Scorpio that is what I have for you I hope you enjoyed your reading um, like I said if it doesn't resonate with you please um, you know I don't know what to tell you. You know, it is what it is. I'm not God. I cannot read every single person in the world. And you have to remember that free will comes into play. Free will comes into play. If you you can change all this shit up tomorrow. Today, as soon as you watch this, I mean, it can all change. It all depends on you. 
you know? So, so thank you for subscribing, watching, liking, and your positive comments. Um, yeah, because, I mean, when I get the negative ones, I think, shit, why did I, I mean, maybe I, I shouldn't even do this for these people, you know? I mean, I, I don't even get it. Um, wow. That's nuts. So, anyway, stay positive, please. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Positive, 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 positive. Had my friend not been dating a Scorpio and they wanted to see this reading, I would not have done it. Put it that way. That was so drastic, the comments that I got. You know, it really put me off. So, had, I mean, a, a cunt? <laughs> That's a little bit strong, don't you think? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I mean, if you're going to call people names like that, then good luck finding somebody. Good luck. <laughs> 